All right, the first step in using the Blingberg machine is to come into the FSC on the first floor to build this business building. Log in to the machine like you'd log in the other machine. Make sure you're on a Bloomberg machine. You should have the two screens and the Bloomberg keyboard. And when you do, you'll see a green button that says Bloomberg. You click on that, and after a while, it takes a little bit, but uh, four screens will come up. Uh, any one of them will work, and it just says Bloomberg. And when it finally comes up, and again, it may take a while, when it finally comes up, you can just click on the enter or go to begin and when you do that it will take you to another page and this page is where you put in your password but if you don't have one you just do down here where it says create new logon and you want to do it for myself if you've ever used the terminal before you say no unless you're setting up a, a different account and then click next. Type in your first name and last name. Don't bother using the shift key. Uh, in Bloomberg, even with the cap locks is off, everything's in all caps. So type in your first name, last name. If you want to give it a login name, you can. Otherwise, if you don't, it will give you one. But if you want to have one, just make sure you remember what you type in. Type in your cell phone number for both your company number and your mobile phone number. So type the same cell phone in twice. Just give your personal um, email, it says company email, your personal email is fine. The next section is optional, so once you finish typing in your email, you can hit the tab button and it should take you to the next button, click next. On the next page, I can't do that here because I already have an account, but on the next page will ask you how you want to receive a, a password they're going to send you and just say you want it as, as SMS text and just click on that and then it will send that to your to your cell phone when you get that text, type it into the machine. Your account will be set up. Um, make sure you, you keep your login name, your password that you type in. Make sure you remember that. And then log in and you should have an account.